What's up guys, my name is Delio, and welcome back to another Zombies video. And today I'm going to be talking about Mowrider Toten. What are my thoughts on it? What are my first impressions? What's my 100% honest take on this map? Because it's clear that I try to be as honest as possible whenever I cover these maps and whenever I make videos about zombies. So like always, I'm going to be giving you guys my 100% honest opinion. So let's jump straight into this. I want to first of all say that this is what without a doubt, the best zombies map in Cold War. And in fact, I really like this map. This wasn't something I was expecting. I was expecting to get let down. This could be the honeymoon phase just kicking in, but man, this map is just so much better than the other maps in the game. Like, it's not even a competition. The one weapon is great to use. The freaking variants are super cool. I like the swarm variant. That seems to do the most damage for me, especially against, you know, the boss zombies that I'm going to get to in a little bit. Also, keep in mind that this video is not going to be super concise because obvious reasons. I also really like the layout of this map. It gives me a lot of classic vibes and just the overall atmosphere, too. Like, this map reminds me, let's say, Mob of the Dead a little bit, plus maybe Keynoter Toten, plus like Garage Krovi from Black Ops 3. There's just so much content there. However, it isn't all sunshine and rainbows because, well, at the moment, it appears that there's not a ton of side quests. This has been a big issue with Cold War, is just the fact that there are a couple cool little side quests you can do, like the bunny Easter egg, where essentially you go into a, uh, strip club and you have to kill like three waves of zombies and you have to choose one of the three doors to see if you can get lucky and get the gold crate and possibly one of those wonder weapons however i will also say that that particular easter egg compared to the other ones released in the other maps seems to give you less of an incentive to really do it because well you have to find like six bunny pieces around the map and once you do that and you know kill three waves of freaking zombies you only get like a one third chance of getting the best loot because all the other ones usually just give you scrap or you know maybe a blue weapon purple weapon etc etc that just in comparison to the other ones where you can just simply stare at a bunny and chase it around a few times and shoot a bunch of little orbs on d machine and do all that stuff it just doesn't compare because they should just give you the ability to like open up each and every one and there you go got it i don't know that's just my thoughts on that now on to the bosses of this map the hvts etc etc i have to say i'm a fan of the disciple i think its design is super cool and i like how it like hovers above the zombies so you can actually focus your fire on it instead of you know it blending in with the normal ones that's pretty cool i also like the tormentors they're pretty cool and they have their own dedicated sort of dog round, you know, that gives you a max ammo. That's pretty cool. You also see the Krosny Soldat as well as the uh, Mangler return as well, as well as the Tempest uh, during the power step. And I'm pretty sure during the Easter egg and also during the Easter egg, you also see mimics, which I hate mimics so much. The bosses themselves are cool. Okay. I'm a fan of the Mangler. I like the Krosny Soldat or the Panzer Soldat. I like the Tempest. I like the Disciple. However, the problem is they spawn in way too much. Seriously. I was on my like round 66 run and legit, they spawn in at least 10 or so of those freaking HVTs throughout the round. It's ridiculous. You go kill one of them, another one spawns in. You kill that one, another one spawns in. And it just keeps on happening. And especially if you're fighting and gets a bunch of freaking Krosny Soldats, it's just terrible. Seriously, it's freaking terrible because the Krosny Soldats are freaking bullet sponges even with the Wonder Weapon. So am I doing something wrong? I had the Wonder Weapon literally tier three pack a punched and like it was doing nothing against the Krosny Soldats. Those things need like a nerf or something and they need to spawn less because it's ridiculous how tanky they are not to mention at the same time you have zombies sprinting at a billion miles an hour in those rounds i don't know that's my main gripe with this map is the fact that they spawn in too many freaking enemies why this was a problem with black ops 4 and they continued on doing it in this game nerf the freaking bosses. They don't need to spawn in that many times anyway also how can i forget that on this map you can literally hear the classic at the start of the game it would have been nice if that was the round change music come on treyarch just bring it back once just bring it back once dude this is outrageous all memeing and joking aside though one last thing i want to talk about is the transportation on the map 
I am a big fan of the zip lines. I don't know. To me, it kind of feels like you have a little bit of momentum whenever you use them. So I, uh, I really like them. I like how you can just go quick travel around the map. The map is kind of big and kind of confusing depending on how many times you actually play the map because, well, initially for me, it was kind of confusing and then I kind of just got the hang of it. So I'm a big fan of the quick transportation pretty awesome that's gonna do it for this video all i can say is that i like this map it's a great map it wasn't something i was expecting i was expecting to get disappointed again but that isn't the case guys it's pretty good good job treyarch i will say that we don't have a main cast we need a main cast just give us a main cast right now i know you're just holding off till the end of the freaking season to show us but like do it right now so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did and you want to see some more videos on the channel make sure to drop a like I'm currently on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and if you guys want to help out, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications, and never miss a video when I upload it. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.